Nobody wanted in this pen until I started getting everything to plant a tree. They just want to eat all the leaves off the tree and I'm trying to plant it so they and the sheep can have shade. I finally had to go get the secret weapon, alfalfa pellets. It works every time. This is a red maple because it'll look so pretty in the fall when I look out the window. We do extremely well in our area. I have several other maples on our property and I wanted something to shade the goat playpen and the sheep. Every tree we plant has to have protection from cows rubbing on it and breaking it, or goats and sheep eating the leaves or rubbing on them. Anyway, I had video and then somebody sent me a text message and it stopped recording. I did get a better staking system for this tree. See, like I said, everybody wants to destroy the trees. Things always break when I'm by myself. Derek was off on a dove hunt and I noticed the pig water was on the ground. It had broken off of the spigot. Derek did the plumbing in the barn and got real familiar with hex pipe and we had extra pieces so that's what we made this out of but we put it together in place so trying to make the whole thing come together and fit through the cattle panel and hog panel arrangement we have here was a nightmare I stopped recording at some point because I was so frustrated it was extremely humid that day and really hot The piece that connects to the spigot does not twist on its own, so we ended up having to put the barrel on its side and twist the whole PEX pipe around in a giant circle to get it on. I actually don't remember how I got this piece through the fence. There we go. The quail keep popping the staples out of the bottom of their pin and escaping or getting hurt through there. So I'm gonna scrounge through all this and get a big old washer and a screw and try to screw the mesh wire into the supports. This isn't the first time this has happened. I used to just staple it and now I use the washer and screw I'm going to pre-drill it because these pieces of wood are so tiny. This coil, I don't know if it tried to get through and hurt its back or if it was getting injured by other coil. I separated her just in case it was other quail picking on her. Later I did put another male that was getting picked on with her. Blue coat is just an antiseptic spray for wounds. This is something for Derek's shop and the goats have been helping themselves to the box. There's less than a month till breeding season and these girls are driving the boys crazy.
Can you imagine if humans did this as cat calls? <laughs> These goats can breed year round, but in the fall it triggers something and they're stinky and they're ready to go, but they have to wait till October. Because we don't want babies in the middle of a snowpocalypse. My fall seedlings did not fare well, either in light issues, number one, or in hardening off process. But it sparked an experiment my sister was talking about, so the Shelly experiment, starting seeds outside in the controlled environment as far as containers. We finally finished all the tape embedding, at least in my shop, and Derek did most of the sanding because it's extremely frustrating to me. On the north wall, I wanted a rock wall, and we were a little worried about how the weight would work out with the sheetrock that we used, so I bought this. It's made out of PVC. This is a quarter of it that I finished the first day, and then more of it the first day. I did a lot more than I thought I would on the first day, and by the second day, I was finished. Now I just need to grout in between all of the seams. And then it was finally time to paint. I wanted this wall to look kind of like leather, and I think I achieved it. This is how the rest of my shop looks, but it won't look like that for long. Here we are in our little bathroom. We decided to put crown molding to hide some mistakes. I mean, to look pretty, to look pretty. The bathroom is in his shop and that copper light he got um, to kind of look like an antique train light. Bye. 